Giant response from Kiev to Russian missile attacks. There were retaliatory attacks from Kiev. The number of Russian casualties in Melitopol reached a record level. Specially trained Ukrainian soldiers claimed responsibility for the attacks in Crimea. Specially trained Ukrainian soldiers entered the Crimea. The fire in the area is still not extinguished. Moscow officially entered the production process with the losses it suffered. Dmitry Medvedev announced that Russia has started to produce explosive weapons. Ukrainian armed forces began to take many measures against attacks. The Russians want to have full control in Luhansk at this time when the winter season is starting to feel too much. The Russians declared forced mobilization in Luhansk. The advance of Ukrainian army on the Eastern Front caused the Russians to focus on Luhansk. Controlling the supply routes caused Moscow to change its focus. If Moscow fails to achieve a victory in Luhansk, Ukrainian army will take control of all key areas. The counteroffensive of Russian army in Luhansk resumed. However, recent statements show that Ukrainian army continues to advance. The cower attacks that began on the orders of Kiev and the destruction of the Russian barracks in the Crimea caused the coordination of Russian army to deteriorate. Attacks on Crimea have begun. Tension continues to rise. With Russian army attacking Odessa with missiles, Ukrainian army destroyed all Russian facilities in Melitopol with missiles. Some images of a big fire in the city were also served by Russian authorities. The mayor in exile, Ivan Fedorov, noted that a large number of Russian soldiers were killed. Russian media claimed that two missiles were blocked by Russian air defense systems. However, as a result of the investigations, it was revealed that Russian air defense systems were able to destroy only one missile. In this process, five Russian headquarters were destroyed as a result of attacks with HIMARS systems. The number of Russian casualties is said to have exceeded 100. A comprehensive investigation was launched in the region. After the investigations, a statement will be made again about the missing numbers. However, the destruction of five headquarters shows that Russian army suffered great losses. In addition, there are many high-ranking Russian soldiers at the Russian headquarters in the region. It is thought that Russian army lost a large number of experienced soldiers in this process. It is known that Russian army has great difficulties in terms of experienced soldiers. However, Russian air defense systems in the region cannot stop the attacks. Therefore, Ukrainian army began to attack all Russian headquarters in the region. In addition, the destruction of the headquarters of Russian army greatly affects Russian soldiers at the front. Russian headquarters allow Russian soldiers on the front to receive information and determine their position. The destruction of these command centers means that Russian soldiers on the front are somewhat blinded. For this reason, Ukrainian army may carry out sudden attacks until Russian armed forces come into contact with Russian soldiers on the front line. The reason why Russian army lost so much in this process may be the destruction of Russian headquarters. In addition, the experience level of Russian soldiers in the trenches is quite low. With the loss of communication, it becomes impossible for inexperienced Russian soldiers to take positions. We see that the targets of Ukrainian armed forces are Russian supply routes and Russian command centers. In addition, many ammunition depots in the vicinity are destroyed. With the destruction of the three main elements, the communication of Russian soldiers on the front line with the command center is cut off. Then, aid cannot be sent to soldiers in the region due to the destruction of the supply routes. The destruction of ammunition depots reduces the number of ammunition sent to the front. Ukrainian army carries out very successful operations with the experience gained during the war. Losing its experienced soldiers around Kiev, Moscow became unable to respond in any way to Ukrainian operations. Moscow will not respond to these attacks of Ukrainian army without training its soldiers for a long time. On the other hand, specially trained Ukrainian soldiers attack the Russian barracks in Crimea. 
A big fire broke out in the Crimea region, which is considered the largest barracks in Crimea, recently. Russian authorities announced that a drone may have attacked the area, but later it was announced that the fire started accidentally in an ammunition depot. Later, Russian Ministry of Defense did not make any statement. However, a critical statement came from Ukraine in the morning hours. Kiev said that Ukrainian troops had infiltrated the Crimea and successfully completed their operation. Kiev waited for specially trained soldiers to leave the Crimea after organizing their operation. Therefore, no explanation was given about the attacks. According to the statements made, Ukrainian soldiers secretly entered Russian barracks in the village of Radiansk. Specially trained soldiers announced that they had been working on this plan for months. In Kiev, we will continue the internal attacks on Russian army. Russian media continues to make propaganda. We neutralized a large number of Russian soldiers. We will inform you about the losses as soon as possible, he said. On the other hand, Ukraine Emergency Service announced that more than 300,000 Russian explosives were defused. During Russian Federation's large-scale offensive in Ukraine, units of State Emergency Service of Ukraine inspected and cleared 76 hectares of land and seized more than 300,000 explosives. State Emergency Service reported that as a result of the attack launched by Russian Federation, about 30% of the territory of Ukraine, an area about twice the size of Austria, was mined. We continue our work in coordination with Ukrainian Armed Forces and Ukrainian State Emergency Service. We know Russia's purpose. Our trained troops continue to clear all the mines laid by the Russians, one by one. We proceed carefully and slowly. In a short time, we will completely clean our lands, he said. With the increase in the losses of Russian army, Moscow took action to produce new ammunition. Moscow is using missiles to attack Ukraine because Russian ground forces cannot conduct successful operations. Therefore, Moscow ordered all its military factories to double their production rates. Former Russian President Dmitry Medvedev announced the official increase in production. Medvedev, we are not just fighting Ukraine. For this reason, we started to take many precautions against the West. That's why we're increasing the production of the most powerful weapons of destruction. All of the weapons to be produced will be of the new generation. We will continue to take our measures and increase the intensity of our operations. However, harsh statements were repeatedly made by Russia. Instead of responding to these statements, Kiev is responding to the Russians at the front. Because Russian authorities continue to act as if attacks are being carried out from their own territory. But the war started because of the ambitions of Putin and other Russian officials. It is also obvious that the war continues on Ukrainian soil. In this process, it is quite natural for Ukrainians to try every way to protect their lands. Moscow wants to seize Ukraine without any resistance or counterattack. However, with the aid coming to Kiev, Russian army has already suffered a great defeat. Due to the sanctions imposed on Russia, it seems impossible for Russian army to regain its former strength for a very long time. In this process, the number of aids going to Ukraine will increase, the sanctions imposed on Moscow will be repeated, and Ukrainian factories will continue to produce new systems. The Kremlin government is aware of this and Russian politicians are very angry about it. The Kremlin government underestimated Ukraine and fell into great complacency. I do not think that the biggest reason why Russian armed forces suffered so many casualties is complacency. In addition, Russian army has not faced a regular army for years. We can say that the encounter of Russian soldiers with Ukrainian army did not turn out as the Russians expected. The harsh statements made only increase the intensity of the clashes on the front. Tension continues to rise. We have come to the end of another video. We will continue to report the events in the coming hours to you quickly and accurately. We continue to inform you objectively about the events. You can like the videos to support us. You can also subscribe to the channel to make it easier to follow new videos. I wish you all happy days. See you.